The environmental justice paradigm embraces the principle that all communities are created equal and that uh, environmental justice is defined as equal protection of environmental policies, laws, uh, procedures under law. Uh, we say that no community uh, should be dumped on or poisoned just because it's poor, uh, just because it's physically located on the wrong side of the tracks, or uh, just because it's a uh, community of color. Well, I think the time is really right for uh, moving environmental justice uh, to the forefront. Uh, we have all kinds of issues facing us now in terms of a rise in asthma rates among children primarily. Uh, we have uh, climate ch global climate change, and we have uh, the fact that uh, our health is imperiled. And so because of uh, the, the converging of the political uh, uh, structure and the election of a new president and a new Congress, I think there are opportunities for us to basically uh, do some things that have been put on hold. Uh, the fact that uh, we have to understand that cleaning up the air uh, saves lives and saves money. If we can prevent uh, uh, illnesses uh, by basically improving air quality, and, it, and, it, and there are data that show that we can uh, expand the life expectancy by having uh, cleaner communities, more healthier people, and getting people access to uh, health care and, uh, and uh, insurance and prevent disease. I think it's important that we have a new uh, EPA administrator uh, who understands environmental justice. She understands the fact that we have to prepare for disasters and we have to do the right thing when it comes to treating all communities uh, the same. You know, the new EPA administrator, her mother, uh, still lives in the Ninth Ward in New Orleans, and she had to evacuate her mother. And so understanding that the government has to respond and respond fairly to all communities, and whether they are rich or poor. I think it's important that we understand that uh, there's no substitute for organizing on the ground and getting uh, our information out there in terms of research, in terms of getting in, into the hands of our organizations, our institutions, uh, but at the ultimate level we have to get that information uh, translated into some policy, translated into new regulations and new rules so that we can implement uh, change. And I think there are great opportunities today to really uh, get uh, policymakers to understand that uh, we have to uh, protect all communities. We have to provide resources so that our organizations and institutions can can operate uh, in a level playing field. Uh, it's not enough just to get in the room. We have to have the information and we have to have resources to make sure that we can follow through on, on monitoring and, and getting our government agencies to do what they're designed to do. If it's an environmental protection agency, they should be in the business of protecting. If it's the housing and urban development, uh, they should be in the business of providing housing. And if it's health and human, uh, health and human services, they should be providing health. And so when we talk about these government agencies, uh, that there, there is a role for government, and I think that role should be uh, using the leverage and the resources to uh, make us a more healthy, a more sustainable, uh, and a more livable society. That's what environmental justice is all about.